Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and tap the bell and select all to receive my future postings. I would like to start things off today by giving recognition to all my wonderful subscribers. Your compliments are just over the top with kindness and support. This decorating channel has truly been a blessing for me and as I read your comments, I should say a blessing for all of us. I have recently been receiving messages from my subscribers about how they have been trying some of my DIYs. I asked them to send me some photos and to my surprise, they have been doing just that. So today, with her permission, I will share one subscriber's DIYs. This project came from my French Country DIY Bird's Nest video. I will make sure to share the link at the end. And here it is, the perfect bird's nest and chalk painted eggs. Thank you, Jill Anderson Fincher, for reaching out and inspiring me with your very talented work. Just look at this nest and eggs. The detail in her work shows, heck, screams inspiration. Again, I am just over the moon and inspired by you. So everyone, if you try one of my DIYs, I would love for you to send me photos so I can share them with the world on my channel. It would be an absolute honor for me. All of you have been a blessing and making my days brighter during these times, so be well and safe. Now let's begin, shall we? So I started this project with putting three coats of gold acrylic paint. Next on the weaves, I will be doing a black and white and then gold on the smaller parts. I'll be using a small flathead brush. This is the most time consuming part out of the whole project, applying the gold. Because it takes quite a few coats to really get the desired color. I go anywhere from three to five when I use this gold. As you can see, it's quite light on the first coat. So now all the gold is just about completed. So here we have the gold completed and I started adding some of the white striping. And then it'll go black and then white again. Now over here, I actually started an aging process onto the white, and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you next. So I will be using this paint, it's Oyster White. I believe I purchased it from Hobby Lobby. And then this color is Oatmeal. And it was purchased from Hobby Lobby. 
Maybe the other, it could have been Walmart. And this is the gold acrylic that I use. Now I take my flathead brush and half of it I put the oatmeal paint and the other half the gold. And now I just tap, tap, tap onto the plate. And I start dry brushing the paint onto the white weave. And you just go back and forth. So again, on half of the brush, oatmeal, the other half gold, and you just go back and forth until you reach your desired color. Now I will be using a flat brush again. It'll be a little bit wider. And I'm going to start applying the black chalk paint. And no worries if you make a mistake and get it on to another color, you just go back and correct it at the end. I did use two coats of black on the weave. Then you touch up in between the two weaves. See? I missed. I got it on the gold. So it's starting to come together nicely. I've done a couple rows so far. Now I'm going to start on the other side. And again, I go with the black and then the white. And then I do the dry brushing. And there we have it. The bottom basket is complete. 
but looking at it, it's awfully bright and shiny. So I'm going to warm it up a bit. So I'm going to dry brush a little bit of gold over the black. There we go. Now here you can see I started warming up the bunny with some glaze. I always call it glaze, but it is called antique wax. And I purchase it from Michaels. And now I'm gonna work on the other side. So this side has been waxed and this side not. So with my flathead brush, I just apply the wax, a generous amount. And depending on how warm you want it, you just keep repeating the process. On this particular piece, I did go over the gold on the basket about three times with the glaze. Then you just get a cloth and start patting it off. So in the basket, I'm going to let that glaze dry and then I will go back for a second coat. Pat it off. I'm really liking how she's coming together. This bunny has great texture. It's nice when you get pieces like this because the glaze can really get in there really good and give it a nice patina look. So this bunny actually was, I did share it previously in a haul, but I'll mention it again. I did purchase it from Ross for $14.99 and it was all cream. And I go over the gold pieces again. And 
and each time you apply it, it just becomes more and more aged. And here we go with the basket. Now this weave part, I did just go over it one time with the glaze or wax. The fun thing about painting is you never really know what the end product is going to look like. just to do the final piece. See me going over it for the third time. Perfect. 